spot stand. It's actually a version of a work I made in 2006, which was called Hotspot. For me, this is quite an elegant and uh, mesmerizing object because uh, there's a delicate thing about the, the fragile and thin neon. At the same time, there's something quite threatening because of that buzz that feels a bit uh, menacing. Also, the, the fact that it projects this red glow gives a sensation of heat. And for me, the idea behind it was to imply that hot spots or spots of conflict are not anymore restricted to certain areas like the Middle East or disputed borders or contested territories in certain parts of the world, but it, that it's something that affects the whole world. This is a new body of work. For a number of years, I've been kind of wanting to create work that looks like it's made out of uh, remains of destroyed buildings, ruins of architecture that's been affected by war or uh, natural disasters, or sometimes it's affected by economy where people cannot finish a building and you see the skeletons of buildings. So this is what I call uh, modern ruins. This is for me like the remains of a building hanging by a thread, if you like, or in the process of tumbling down. It's like a suspended animation. It's precariously balanced and is both heavy and light. This work was made specifically for, for this space. This one is called Inside Out, is also made of cement with little aggregate in it. It really comes from an obsession I've had for many years, since the early 90s, of working with this, this pattern that occurs inside the body, either in the lobes of the brain or here, like the, the compacted intestine. It's a pattern that actually happened accidentally the first time in a work I made in 92-93 called Socle du Monde. I showed at Galerie Chantal Couzel in 93. So I called it Inside Out because it's something that, as if it's being turned inside out to kind of reveal its interiority. It, it's kind of very earthy, but also body-like, as if the kind of the globe of the earth is a living, pulsating body. In, in my exhibitions, I often like to um, create like a variety of viewing experiences. I like to have always some work that is more intimate and needs more of a kind of attentive uh, looking. And this is a very unusual work for me because it's like inviting you into the private sphere of a temporary studio. It's called SP Atelier because it was Sao Paulo and I did it for the uh, Pinacoteca of Sao Paulo. I enjoy very much uh, working on exhibitions rather than make work in my studio and sending it over. I like to spend time there and I create a temporary studio, if you like, where I do a lot of um, kind of research, starting with going to the popular markets, picking up objects that become part of a work or an inspiration for it.